the other way. <laughs> no, that's still the Hey, one. guys! Welcome to Ant Figures, a toy and action figure podcast here on the Pop Culture Network. Uh, Lord Killen couldn't make it here tonight. <laughs> I barely have you all these extra hands. Look what we found. So, so we got a party going on. It's, uh, it's a lot of dudes. We're <laughs> and one chick. Except for these chicks. This must be the meat warehouse because we're chick? full of sausage. Wow. Oh, did I just close that window? Yeah, you did. Oh, damn it. Did you have to bring all that back up? I do. What are we talking Action. about now? All right, well. I don't even know. I just closed everything out that we were going to talk about. So, Angry uh, Birds. Everybody introduce Angry yourselves. Birds. Talk for a minute. Angry Birds. Dang this, it. This is Christina and uh, uh, Pixel Dan. Or Stina, sorry. Uh, Pixel Dan. Uh, Lord Killen, I'm Scotty Cash, and you're not. And here's R2-D2. R2-D2. Oh. You're the show. I've been trying to get that guy as a guest. <laughs> for years. For years. Yeah, well, he's now an exclusive for the Pop Culture Network. <laughs> <laughs> he's a correspondent. He's going to be doing a weekly show <laughs> called Beeps and Whistles. Beep, boop, 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 boop. The Life and Times of R2-D2. <laughs> we, uh, we actually... Hey, you found it. We needed a new... Uh, a new face to the website, so we're like, listen, R2. R2-D2. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, are you busy on, like, Tuesday nights, you know, Wednesday? I mean, whatever? he's been having some tough times. He was kind of strung out a little hey, bit. George I saw that documentary. Said, he said well, he, he was strung out a little bit. He was bit. strung out on... Uh, he and Samuel Jackson were having a tough time living right. on the beach. <laughs> that's the battery right. acid. Uh, yeah. So, we brought him in, gave him a job. In here, a so. weird twist of events, I paper, rock, scissors, uh, George Lucas for the rights to R2-D2. It was, it was drawn out. It was <laughs> tough. Was it? There he was, kept going to overtime. So there was theme music. Three overtime. It was awesome. <laughs> he kept going into overtime for <laughs> no. rock, paper, scissors. Kill had to call somebody off off the bench. He was what? tired. He called a timeout. Was it the same George Lucas from the whitest kids you know sketch? Yes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was yes. like, yes. I was like hey, can, can I get R2-D2? He's like, well, well, what do you want? I was like, <laughs> Uh, I don't know how much you want. And he's like, well, I don't know. I was like, would you pay Brock or, pay Brock or scissors? He's like, that's the only way we can do it. I was like, all right. That's the only way I'd let him go. Hey, do that voice again. It sounds like, is it Grover? You sound like Grover. Do it. Grover. <laughs> yes. Welcome Grover to the show, everyone. Grover. Star studded you event suck. here tonight. You suck. You suck. It's like Jerry Springer. Everybody sucks. I'm Grover? Yeah, no. Jerry Springer, everyone sucks. You suck! You Like, crowd just hates everybody. Like, he's, he wants you to shut hey, up. Hey, quit Are talking you? over people. He's dude. trying to tell you to be listen, quiet. Hey, he's the, listen, listen, old face of pop culture. You don't speak to the new face like okay, that. My, my listen, hey, my hey, hey take about, her easy. He don't I'll, mean that. How about... What does that even do? R2. You have to ask him. R2? Hey, R2. Oh. Hey, R2. Seriously? Do you remember? Darth Vader? No. What? <laughs> I want it. <laughs> what, else, it. what else can you ask him? Listen. Dark, uh, hey, AR2. Hey, Do you remember? Hey, R2. Be quiet. What? Hey, R2. Princess Leia. Oh. Hey, R2. Hey, R2. Do you remember? You're going to overload it. Listen, <laughs> R2, listen. What's Would you like one? to play a game of chess? What's one plus one? See, stupid. He don't even under. No, he doesn't. Hey, R2. He stamped us hoof like a horse. Yeah. Hey, R2. Okay, hey, anyway. R2. Listen, hey, R2. He obviously has zoned you out. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's tired of looking at you, dude. Hey, R2, be quiet. Why do you keep moving? Why are you here? Why do you need to meet Make him do the scream thing. Hey, R2. Wow. Scream. Well, everybody has to be quiet. Especially. Hey, R2. Do you remember? Darth Vader? He remembers. Hey, R2. Hey, you gay? <laughs> oh, great. We can't say gay. Like, happy. Oh, happy. Say, are you happy, R2? See? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Are we still like, we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Well, no, no, this is, like, no, no, oh, this is incredibly entertaining. Come on. All right. <laughs> we'll bring up... Well, we'll ask him some questions for the fan corner. Uh, let's not. Let's let him switch. Questions for R two. It's he's kind of like the eight ball. It's either, but it's got to be yes or no, <laughs> or just indeterminate beats. Yes. Because you don't know what he's saying. Can he play the Leia hologram? No, he just says yeah. ask again he later. He can play the recording of the sound. Ah! But, Does he? But really? the hologram doesn't actually project. Uh, just so you know, he's really really making sound? you aware. Yeah, he'll do a little bit of it. He's got 40, 40 things. So you can do. All right. Entertainment yeah. Earth and our first piece of news here. Uh, they now have an exclusive Night Rider. A kit vehicle with Michael Knight. It's a 13-inch car with a three and three-quarter inch Hasselhoff. Sweet. Fifty-nine ninety-nine. Expensive. That's, That's not even the bad part. The bad part is this right here. January 2013. 
It's a pre-order now. Um, but still, really fifty nine ninety nine. Hey, this is a Shocker Toys deal here. Like, well, let's see how many we sell. Don't release anything. <laughs> We'll, we'll make it after we get the profit. And it doesn't even look that good as the Hoff. No, nah, the, the, like, figure's yeah. the figure's okay, but it's not the, like... The car looks fantastic. Yeah, the, when I saw this, the first thing that popped in my mind is, totally put that next to the mask. A-Team van mm-hmm. mask. with the A-Team figures that just came out recently. Oh, I guess that'd, that'd be, be bigger than awesome. mask, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. They'd be yeah. in scale with yeah. it, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you could have B.A. riding shotgun Yeah, in, uh, absolutely. Night Rider. That'd That's be awesome. Racist. And apparently <laughs> racist. Why can't he drive? Because <laughs> it's not his car. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. You gonna yeah. trust somebody to drive you your car? You have Shay. The Hoff can't drive the A Team van. Yeah, come on. Let's That's be serious. That's so racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's just because BA is like, you ain't driving my van, sucker. I ain't getting on no plane, Hannibal. I ain't getting on no plane. <laughs> well, we got no, it. we wouldn't have you get on a plane, BA. Here, eat this chocolate cake. Oh, chocolate cake. Oh, chocolate cake. <laughs> Everybody, welcome Cookie Monster to the show. <laughs> Great impression. Yeah, you know, that's, Mr. that's the Mr. T idea. That's what you get on this show. It's Mr. Cookie T. I love cake. What? Snorax or something. I don't know what that was. Snor- we're just Snorlax. all terrible. Snorax. Snorax. Hmm. Doesn't that guy just sleep? Wasn't that from the Dr. Oh. Seuss thing? Yes. Yes, yes the, the Snorax. The Snorax. Versus, versus Snorax. Pokemon. <laughs> versus all right. Pokemon. Dr. Seuss wow, great show. We've covered so much already. And uh, we're already, what, 22 minutes into this thing or whatever. Or two. Or oh, 14. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who's heard of BotCon? Oh, yeah. BotCon in the news a little bit this uh, uh, this spring. Some of the, no big deal. Some of the neat stuff going on there. Who wants to touch me? <laughs> They announced some of the uh, stuff coming out this year, like for instance the Bruticus in G1 colors. Neat. He's a uh, multi-robot put together, like Devastator. Remember Devastator? Yeah, yeah he's kind of like Devastator. Is sweet though. This thing's like very that. sweet. He's uh, no, like, I think he's pretty tanks. Cool. I don't the like the, the different and... colors. I liked how Devastator was also one solid color, or <laughs> like or like the Constructicons. That was, was Devastator. Oh, okay. Same. Yeah, that's what he meant. <laughs> Who's Soundwave? Or no, it was Shockwave that I didn't know who it was. when I got in trouble by everybody? Oh, yeah. Shockwave. Are you stupid? Yeah, yeah. All right. What is um, this is uh, Rust in Peace Cliff Jumper. Oh, um, from the Prime cartoon. Right, oh, from cool. Prime. He's the Terracon version of him. It's basically when he was a zombie. Yeah, and he's, he's all ripped zombie? up, but the packaging is the head. That is cool. So they're kind of doing that Swamp Thing it's thing. It's kind of like Swamp Thing, but not really at all. But, but it actually looks cool. And it's not... Biodegradable. Have you have you watched that cartoon at all? No, I need to. Though. It's really it's, good. It is really, really good. good. Really it good. is really. It's good. on Netflix now, so I finally get a chance to watch it. I love it. It's so oh, awesome. It sucks. Hey, <laughs> you, uh, you know, know Scott. You know why you love Cliff Jumper so much? Because uh, in the one episode he wasn't a zombie. He was the Rock. Yeah, you love the Rock. <laughs> <See>? The Rock <laughs> did his voice. You are the biggest fan of the Rock. Oh, he did. Yeah, the Rock did his voice. You know what? I think I knew that. Or I think I heard about that. He was only in the first episode, and then he died, and then he turned into a zombie. All right, well, Sounds there's some other stuff. There's uh, Transformers cool. Generation Soundwave, Kickback, Rumble and Ravage, Transformers Prime Arachnid, Shadow Strike Bumblebee, but the big one, Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Oh, and it's yeah. super cheap, too. It's only probably like 250 How many Masterpiece Primes do we need? 60 You know, as far as I'm concerned, Optimus Prime in that original He look, looks awesome. That's, I mean, that's, that's a character that should always be in the store. That's, that's true. amazing. That's, that's true. amazing. If they make a new sculpt of Alt- of Optimus Prime in that G1 semi every year, great. That's that's true. I agree with that. If, that is awesome. Looking. If this comes with a trailer and it's a decent price, I don't own any trans. Well, I own a few sound waves. I might consider buying that. I wonder what how do much you, that's going to be. What do you though? consider a decent price? It's going to be a bill. expensive. Hundred bucks? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go over a hundred bucks. Yeah, he comes with the... Uh, Has he got the trailer? In the little there car. There shows the little car. Oh, and the little dudes. Oh, in the, the little guy. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Little Jimmy. Jimmy. That's little right. Jimmy. Little Jimmy said. There's that piece from the back that was on the uh, arm. Are they not showing us the trailer? Is it like a secret? Uh, or maybe they just... Secret accessory, oh. dude. Oh. Secret accessory. You don't know. Oh, it's standing up. Yeah, go back. Go back. It's go right back. there. Go back. It's right there. Go back. Oh. I want to see. There's you. No, I hey, wouldn't. That have. is you. That looks like you. Take was that? Oh, that's you. <laughs> to yeah. killing, to killing the line. I was uh, trying to take something out of the case. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, you can't do that. But Big apparently, upon that. his chest opens and he's got the matrix. The matrix. Oh my yeah. lordy! So, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's one that you have to own. I mean, that's just uh, for a bill. Uh, yep. 
Listen. Yeah, I wonder how much it's going to be. I'll just like go get it for well, a bill much, and give them sixty. How much do the masterpiece? <laughs> the masterpiece ones go for? They're usually one twenty nine, one thirty nine. Well, no, it depends because like the Star, what, wasn't the Star like Starscream Stream was like sixty. They were like sixty. 70, something yeah, like they were like so. sixty so bucks at Walmart. The bill's probably pretty accurate. Probably for uh, Optimus with this trailer, it's probably about a hundred. Might be a hundred or even one twenty. Yeah, and I could even see that, and, even though that seems pricey. But you're probably right. That's probably a decent price for something that big. Because it's awesome. a masterpiece. Yeah. It's got lots of accessories. It's got the huge ass trailer. Like it's. Oh, we can't say go. that. Huge. Yeah, we can. Huge. We can say huge. Yeah, we can say huge. Okay. Because we're talking about my manhood. <laughs> That's what. Oh, oh, said. oh! I was gonna freak out. <laughs> Yeah, you always freak out. What are you freaking out about? Dude? Well, he flashed those pictures. I was but so, so out. what else? What else from Botcon did you guys enjoy? Oh, what I just other, loved everything. What was your, what was your other was big? Because I know you guys Bad are all Ultron, super Power Rangers. Rangers. The fall of Cybertron figures looked cool. Oh, the video I, game. I, I need to. I need to. Have you played War for Cybertron? The first no, game? everyone keeps saying that. I, I really want to play it, and I haven't done it yet. And, and the more they show of the new game, the more I'm like, I really need to play that other game quick before that new one. Comes well, everyone said it, it was open, really good. Is it yeah, open map or whatever they call that? Open sandbox? You mean like a sandbox open world kind of thing? Yeah, like uh, I don't no, think so. I think it's much more mission based. Uh, yeah, yes. open world. Open world. Um, I just gotta say the Occupy uh, Botcon with the Go uh, Gobot lovers was fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how was going on. Yeah, but it. there was a problem because they 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 didn't coordinate which GoBots it was. So you had the group of people who were friend, fans of the kid friendly line of Transformers that were oh. called GoBots. Oh no! And then you had the people who liked the Tonka toys. And so they came together thinking that they were each other, and then realized that they were fans of different toy lines, and then they started fighting amongst themselves. They just killed each other. That's, yeah. That's so not, it's like they no. negated each other out. No, no. That's and not an issue anymore. We paper, rock, scissors the rights and uh, have a lot of A lot of paper, rock, scissors are running around this piece today. Dude. Well, you know, if you get the rights to go bots, then you, you can make new bots that go, but you're not bringing back the old line. Got it. Like, we've got the concept of bots that go, I see and we're doing. making our own. That is not in any way connected, so we didn't leave anything behind. I'll see your pants off. I see what he's doing. Babies. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see your pants off. Uh-oh. Let's, let's talk some Manny Collector news. I'm freaking out. Are you freaking out now? I'm freaking out. Why are you freaking out? Because those are the worst things I've ever seen ever, ever. What? what the, what's the worst things you've ever seen? Oh, universe? we're not on that. Never mind. Batman? Continue. Oh, yeah. yeah we're not there yet. You're talking You're talking something else. For, first, hate Batman. the DC, uh, Mattel put out this statement about the DC line mm. of toys. They were saying, you know, Young Justice, they were sad to see it go. Oh, the retail jerks. line of the DC All-Stars, they canned that, not coming out. So no retail at all? Well, they said for 2013... Right. They're working on a new line of retailer, collector-oriented uh, superheroes and villains. So like Joker, Batman, Superman, and Lex Luger. Probably. Luger? Luger? <laughs> Luger. Wow, Lex Luger. If like a total Lex package. Express, <laughs> Lex Express playset. Is he going to have those goofy-ass uh, MC Hammer pants on? <laughs> He yeah. He's going to have the mullet, though, that, that wraps around the front. He's going to wear the Bane. He's going to wear the awesome uh, Seinfeld white puffy shirt, like when he showed up on that first the WC, shirt. The WCW. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's going to have the American flag uh, warm up pants yeah. come out with him. That's the only way he'd do it. <laughs> but yeah, they, they didn't say who they were. They didn't say they can't reveal a whole much, but <clears throat> they want DC Comics superheroes and villains that complement your existing collection. Yeah, something like. Hmm. Something must have happened because they they released stuff of that All Star line and then canned it immediately. Well, then brought it back and, and then canned it again because they were like, gonna, they were going to bring out those six figures with like Steel in it, mm, Batman Beyond, and all those, and they're like, right. no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, they were going to do those, but then and then there was also going to be the All Stars line where they announced like Larflees and like the new Fifty Two Plastic Man and all that kind of stuff, and then they canned that. What about Red Robin? They doing and, that? <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I, I, some people are speculating that those are all going to end up in the subscription. <laughs> but uh, I don't that's know. Pretty good speculation. I don't know if that's like the retailer's fault. Like, no, nope, we're tired of these. Or if that was DC that was like time to do something different. I have no idea. I'm like, pretty sure what? Walmart's like, uh, well, if you buy back some of these Power Girls, we can <laughs> no joke, right? Well, how many you guys um, got? I don't know, just like one or two thousand per store. <laughs> so, they, they said they've got something new coming next year they can't really talk about. Of course, Club Infinite Earths is still going on, so you it's guys can all I bet it's not buy as that exciting stuff. as they try to make it sound. And they say, of course, there's the Dark Knight Rises toy line that yeah. they cannot coincide with the movie, so you will get those movie-inspired versions. Well, of they, they showed images of that. Where? 
Toynewsi.com. Uh, oh, uh oh, Big Bad Toy Store posted a bunch of images today because they've got pre-orders up. I think. Yeah, I think that's where they actually they got yeah, it from. They look crap. Oh really? Well, the ones that all got posted were like their five-inch kid line and. Oh, like, Power Attack Batman. Yeah, yeah well, that's and it's it's. Those, that's from the cartoon. That's from the new cartoon. But they got also got the other figures, and there's like Snow Brigade Batman. Oh, they're going Already. back to the, the Kinner style. Yeah, uh, nice. they are. Batman yeah, seriously, scroll down, and see if it's on there. There's yeah. totally a uh, playset well, too, a Batcave playset, which is sweet. Oh, look at that! It looks it looks old school. Click on it. Make it big. Oh, uh, I think it's like camouflage. I don't want that that's crap. What she said. Camouflage. Make it big. Make it big. <laughs> she said or he said that? Click on it. Make it big. Oh, there it is. It's I don't like that. Like, uh, I changed my mind. Something. Nope. You liked it. Now I freak out! Now you, gotta, now you gotta buy it. Yep. You, you already said it. you liked it. I don't want it. You called dibs. <laughs> <laughs> on, and all of them? You got paper but, of course, it doesn't up. show you the other side. Or is that the other side? Yeah, that is the other I side. I guess it is. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I don't want... Uh, that is not a good place set. It's, it's like both shady. sides look like How the back. How much is it? Uh, 39.99. Uh, nope. Yeah, that is not a playset worth buying. Either. I'll pass. Thank you, honey. If that was a twenty dollar <laughs> playset, I I might be able to see it, but for forty dollars and there's no good side to show off, then no. Yeah, that's yeah. not a good playset. You know what I kind of want to get? Uh, the Batcave playset from the first movie line. Abs. Yes. Abs. You want to get abs? You can buy that. <laughs> the bat abs. The. the but you know what I want is the. <laughs> The little goofy uh, bat cave ones that were the, like the little bitty tyke ones or whatever. That thing's awesome. It is huge. Oh, the Imagine oh, X? The yes. Imagine yes. stuff. That thing is actually awesome. super awesome. Well, here's awesome. the thing that makes me mad is that um, I, uh, Mattel does those through, is it through Fisher Price? Mm -hmm. uh, they do the Imagine X. And then Hasbro has their line uh, through their play school, I think. Mm -hmm. And and Hasbro has Marvel and Star Wars, and they will sell the figures in little figure two packs. But um, the Mattel ones from Fisher Price for the Imagine X, they, you can only buy the figures if you're buying a vehicle yeah. or a playset or some huge. Like I don't want a big Joker van. Like I, I want the Joker. I want the Joker and Batman and Green Lantern and Flash. Like I'd love to have all those characters, but I don't want to buy another. They had like, stuff. Target had single carded ones for a while. They were exclusive to Target, and, and they that's when I bought. I bought Mr. Freeze and Two-Face Two -Face and Robin and Joker, I think. Is well, I was just there the other day, and they have the display of all the figures now. I yeah, know, but you can't buy them. Every well, time you, I you see can, those displays. Check, check yeah, they, they, it was on an end cap, <laughs> and they didn't have very many, and I kept wanting to get that Robin. And they also had a actually like an Ice Batman. Remember the all-white yep. Batman? And it, it, looked, was, it white, was awesome. White, yeah. And I kept wanting to get the Batman and Robin, and I was like, nah, and then they're like, boop, boop, boom. Yeah. They're like, oh, they're on sale. They're yeah, like, fifty cents. They're like a dollar ninety nine a piece. I think. Yeah, I wish so. they'd bring those back because I would buy a ton of those. Yeah, they were cool. All right. Yeah. Have you now, seen it? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Final piece of news here, and this one's kind of long though. The San Diego Comic Con twenty twelve preview, March of Toys, Masters of the here. I'll, okay, I'll scoot over so you can see. <laughs> it. Masters of the Universe Vicron figure. Hey, Pixel okay. Dan, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Masters of the Universe Classics Vicron figure? All right, so... I saw Toy Guru did his own video of it. Uh -huh. He's trying yeah. to get your job. And this He's is like, like Pixel Dan can do toys, but watch me do toys, because like I'm a toy guru! You actually said that? No. Oh, <laughs> this is like the second or third time he's done a video like that, and it's always funny, because people always say that on his comments. What? That he's trying to do Pixel Dan videos. Why is he doing... Oh, he already has um, a figure, then. Yeah, well, he well, he's got like this one that they took photos. I'm not of. sure if you know, but Scott works for Mattel, and they produce <laughs> all the <laughs> figures. Yeah, oh, okay. so I heard about that. They got, they got, he's actually, you know, is this that new thing you call sarcasm? <laughs> no, I don't like it. No, I don't even know so, um, what sarcasm is. <laughs> so the the idea behind this set is that it's based on the original three prototype figures that Roger Sweet created when he presented the toy line for for Mattel, like way back in the late 70s, when they were trying to come up with a brand new line uh, because they, they passed on the Star Wars license like a bunch of idiots and realized what a big mistake that was. So they were trying to come up with this hit boys toy line, and one of the things that was proposed was this new line called He-Man, and Roger Sweet made these three prototypes where the idea for He-Man was he was going to be like an everyman. He could be a barbarian, he could be a military guy, he could be a space adventurer. It was going to be kind of like a Captain Action thing. But yeah, I was going to say, like the, some of the Mego figures, yeah. where you just had that base and you'd put on a new shirt, yes. new pants, and a new mask, and then he was Batman. You'd switch it, he's right. Spider-Man, you'd switch it, he's Superman, you know. 
Right, so that was the original idea for He-Man. Now, of course, they... Mattel loved the prototypes, but of course, as they started in production, it evolved into something different. They started, you know, Mark Taylor started doing all his uh, sketches and everything, and you know, he well, turned, uh, turned into a that's bar to be seen. Okay. <laughs> yes, right. so the whole thing turned into the the barbarian route. But um, this this here pays homage to those original three prototypes that Roger Sweet created, and they are goofy looking as hell. But they, they, cool. I think that these are really cool for a 30th anniversary well, exclusive. You know these I mean? are the San Diego Comic Con exclusives, which right. means that these are super. Th these are going to be probably kind of hard to get. You know, that's the thing with these exclusives. You got to go there. Sometimes they have a Maddie Collector. Mm -hmm. Probably have a lot of or these left not, over because but, in several years that's not been the case. Well, yet. and they're also going to sell them on Maddie after after San Diego, yeah, just but, like they've been doing. The but last the point being years. is that you look at these, and for the average person who's buying a He-Man, a Skeletor, a Hordak, and a Tila, they're going to look at these and be like, "I don't know that I need Tank Man or Jetpack Man." Right. So it, it's not a big deal that these are an exclusive, mm -hmm. as some of the other exclusives they've done in the past where right. they had. You know, uh, like Gleek with the Wonder Twins. Like, who wants to buy the Wonder Twins without Gleek? Exactly. You know, exactly. Uh, stuff like that. So this one being that that's the exclusive from the cons, not as big of a deal. People who are diehard fans are, you know, nope, right. well, you would think that. Way. That's that's why I think this is a good exclusive. Exactly what you just said and makes this a perfect. Because it's an exclusive, Everybody you don't have to buy it. one. No, actually, right. I love it. Yeah. Everybody yeah. else is freaking out, and oh, the yeah. entire human. Yeah, dude. that's that. My biggest thing with this whole thing is that I have been utterly baffled by the outright anger that people are expressing that How this is dare the exclusive. They? Because, like, first of all, I love this. I think this is awesome. I love concept figures. I always have loved them. I, I you know, I ate this up the. This is route. where it started, though. Yeah. this is the original. Yeah, and that's why I think this makes sense for it being the 30th it's anniversary so thing, hard. right? <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know. I understand that they're super goofy looking, and so if people don't like them, I don't fault you for that. If you don't want them, I don't fault you for that. What I don't understand is why you are mad that these are the exclusives. And because what you know, if they made, I've seen so many people saying it should have been Ram Man or Modulock. Well, guys, if it would have been Ram Man or Modulock, you'd all be angry that that's the exclusive that, and not part of the regular Because you couldn't get one lock. easily or yeah. cheaply that you're going to have to Why fight would you make Ram Man the exclusive you, when yeah. you know everybody wants it? San Diego exclusive should be something special that not everybody feels like they need to own. That way, if you can't get there to get it, you don't feel like well, you're, you're not missing, really out missing out on that. I will be buying three. Yeah, me too. Yeah, been, so been, are you really? Yes, absolutely. Well, because it's one figure. It's one figure. Well, yeah, yeah, I know that. And then you can change it. So you want to show all three? I've been told that... The Barbarian is going to be the San Diego exclusive. Yeah, and it's and all the, going to show the Barbarian, and then these two are going to be they're on the package. package. In the back on Maddie. Right. Well, it's it's no, actually no, no. It, what the way it looks is it's it looks like the three pack packages kind of, and they put the figure in the center wearing one of the costumes, and then there's another each of the other costumes. Right, but I'm saying, sides. but, but Matt, you, Maddie's going to have Maddie yeah. Collector is going to have this one in the middle, this one in the middle. San Diego is going to have that one in the middle. Exactly. Yes, As Scott said that in his video. But anytime you, but the, but each package will have all three. Exactly. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. So it doesn't matter. It, that's only for mint on mint and box collectors if they want to display it specific ways. The San Diego version is going to have the barbarian showcased. The Maddie versions are going to have either the tank guy or the space guy showcased, and they're going to be two separate SKUs. So you can pick which one you want to buy. Yeah, and it's nice because so on Maddie, well, say say you hate the barbarian, say you hate tank face. Tank head, whatever. So you just want the Boba Fett you one. You just want the Tank, Boba Fett. You can Fett. buy the Boba Tank Fett one. Fett. Man, you can buy the Barbarian and make him that. Yeah. Or just buy that one and display it that way. I got a big problem with the space guy. What's that? Why is he, like, futuristically holding an old gun? Well, because this was actually made in, in 19, like, 70. That's, like that's like a modern gun, and he's supposed to be, like, futuristic. Okay, come on now. Well, he no, actually, he actually, <laughs> when, uh, when Roger Sweet made these, <laughs> yep. you could give him a space Yeah, but you game. don't know what's that, that could be shooting tiny nuclear warheads. Yeah, you should have yeah. gave him a little or space lasers. Pistol. I'm upset. But, but no, I kinda it, wish... uh, those are probably guns from like the big gym line because uh, towards the end, Roger Sweet was just throwing stuff together yeah. before he was, before he, his, his presentation the was reason, his turn. The reason that looks like a Boba Fett helmet is because he ripped the head off of a 12 inch Kenner Boba Fett yeah. figure and just glued it to one of those bodies well, and, didn't, and that's... Didn't, which one of these had like actual fur on it? What, this didn't one, he this have one was on his boots. Yeah, no, he, he had, had actual fur. fur. It was on yep. his boots. Because but... I remember seeing it and it was just like this big... Uh-huh. And his hands were, and, his, and he was like this. 
Yeah, yeah, Hold, holding really his good. axe out in front of him. Yeah, and my axe. I think it's neat. Like, I want to get them and I want to pose them with like Demo Man and Vicor, which are like Mark Taylor's concept sketches. And that's like well, that's, that's like the that's creation. To be seen. Yeah, that's like the creation of Masters of the Universe right there. You get all you know five of those guys lined up on your shelf, and that's that's like a cool piece of history. Wait, so is next year? Because they keep doing this with the. With the Masters of the Universe Classics line, they keep like going back to ob more obscure, more obscure. So is next year's exclusive going to be Big Jim? Oh, that'd be awesome. Is that going to be no, next year's Big Jim? Because that's where it came from. Big Jim. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just going to be. It's just going to be another cringer. But he's got. It's got to be like a Big Jim size, like a Masters figure. But then he comes with a little scaled down Battle Cat and a little scaled down Zor. For no reason. Yeah. Just because that's all those got taken. Uh, Mattel's going to buy the rights to the Power Tour, and Songster's going to be the exclusive. They've already got the rights to Songster and the whole Power Tour. And they're going to re-release it on DVD. They need to do oh, that. Oh, man, if they did that. I think the problem with that is that nobody has footage of it. Uh, that's only, one of those only things. Only one guy. does. That's one of those things. Uh, Somebody recorded it on their Michael J. Fox <laughs> smartphone in, like, the 70s. Yeah, Michael J. in the 70s. In the mid-80s. Let's make this happen. <laughs> I remember going to the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out of their show. Shells musical tour oh. and buying the video cassette of the coming out of their shells musical tour and thinking, how did they get this on a tape already? The show's only half over. <laughs> That's magic. Well, someone's got to have a tape. Where's that uh, magic? The magic Where's that tape? Magic. In my basement. We have to watch this sometime. <laughs> I've I, never I, seen I, it. I just, you know, I it's been there the so long. Tape. We'll probably put it in the tape and it's just blank. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. Doug taped over it. And you never went to the show. No, gross. I never did. Because wow. they had foam frisbees that looked like Shows, pizzas. Bro. They just threw them in the shower. I remember. I remember pizza had like. Yes. Set tapes and yep. stuff. And I have those. Yeah. We're coming out of our shells. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Next one. You went to Pizza Hut as a kid? Like, that's probably why I hate it now because I, I I hate it I ate it all the time because I had five dollars for the personal pans and you got like a, a book Sorry, and a toy and a cup and then you got the book it's and the, you, yeah like, for sure yeah if you read, read like six books you got a free pizza I always well I was just mark them down I didn't I read love, any books I love books. <laughs> you just <laughs> marked them down I love books I, I read six books this morning fill out my card. <laughs> I'd watch a cartoon, watch a movie, a and button, just right? make up stars. stars. Yeah, that's right. I'd walk in with my buttons and be like, test? pepperoni, that cheese, sausage, no, bacon, no, Canadian bacon, else. ham, and green peppers. I don't even like green peppers. I'm going to throw that one away, but I'm getting a free pizza. <laughs> Book it, baby. Book it. Your name. Book it. Book it. And then you got all your stars and your button. Yep. yep. And you got a glass. <laughs> yeah, Tiny Titans. All right. Oh, are we moving on now? <laughs> oh, Okay. DC Universe Classics Tiny Titans twenty dollar pack. I'm definitely gonna buy one of these. That's yeah, cool, I dig it. These are one and a half inch scale figures. Um, this is from the Tiny Titans comic book, and uh, Robin, Raven, Starfire, Cyborg, and Beast Boy. So the characters that you remember from the uh, Teen Titans Go cartoon. Well, you know what this is from, right? It's a comic. Is that, is that well, this is also yeah. they also do. Oh, this is a comic. Is that Beast yeah. Boy? Oh, because they do they yeah. do Tiny yeah. Titans the... on Cyborg. DC Nation on Saturday mornings. Well, the comic just hit fifty issues. And it's been oh, going for several this. years. Right. I had no and idea. And yeah, ended. we've got uh, some. We've got right. some right and down there. It ended. It ended. It's over. It's done. Those what fifty? Yeah. Oh yeah, because they're doing the Superman family now. They moved <gasps> the family. When's it come out? Is it Tiny Tots? Tiny um, Tots? Tiny Tots? No, it's the same art style, the same artist. So they're little this guys. One. Well, no, 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 no. He, Superman looks normal, but then like the kid superheroes look like little kids next to Superman. Oh, that's lame. Superman. That's almost as lame as that DC comic, whatever. That's next. <laughs> What's next Boy, is Death Strike. Is Death. This is from the award-winning Sandman comic from Vertigo that won all the awards and uh, made all the uh, art school people who drink their lattes think the comics and are cool. Yeah, I just is, Google that. That's not right. It's garbage. It is blamed on creating the goth movement. Really? really? Well, not creating it. Yeah, well, Helping it, it inspiring. existed before Moving that, but it, 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 it made it more mainstream. Are you kidding me? No. This comic's so because dark, you know what I think? Sandman. Oh, no, we're all black and skateboard. <laughs> the main character of the comic skateboard. looked like Robert Smith from The Cure. Oh. Um, right on, right on. Okay, isn't that more so basically, she was always yeah, right a character, got a lot of attention, um, and so they've decided to make this one. The base looks like a skull. Right, and it comes and with a hacky sack. An eight inch figure sitting on top. Goth, goth sack. people play yeah, hacky sack. Yeah, yeah a lot of goth same. people playing hacky They're sack. They're all the same, they carry around spray paint cans and do that on the side of trains. GD, I was here. <laughs> yeah, goth. GD. 1999. Goth dudes. That's a statue, too, not a figure. Uh, 
This is? But I didn't say action figure, I just said figure. I know, I, a lot of people have been thinking it's a DC figure and asking why it's 8 inches instead of 6 inches like the yeah, rest of the Yeah, there's no articulation. It's, it's a statue, you yeah. know. You could probably make it articulated. <laughs> if you break this it. This is so goofy. <laughs> Alright, next up is the Ghostbusters Dana as Zool for 25 bucks. This is a 6 inch tall figure of Dana with a bottom half that basically snaps off. And you can snap on either her laying on the pedestal, acting all sexy, yeah. or put the legs on where she's doing her walk and use the same top. Uh, so you can flip it back and forth. Or you can buy two. No. If you want to show both. She, she um, looks way better sitting down. But it yeah. doesn't look like Sigourney Weaver. So I don't know if that's like a licensing issue. Like they I couldn't mean, get the rights to do her face, so they just kind no, of. No, the four made horsemen this. were. They took a day off, and they're like, "Look what we made!" When they uh, came back, they're like, "What?" The horsemen don't sculpt the Ghostbusters line. So so there's your shows problem right there. Right there. Yeah. Ghostbusters. Oh, it said it right there. My oh. bad. I was wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's their problem. I, I want this, um, but do you guys remember how this was supposed to be just one of the regular figures this year, and now all of a sudden it's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive? Um, no, that's, that's but interesting. I'll take yeah, they talked about it at, at the San Diego. Yeah, this was supposed to be one of the regular figures for the Ghostbusters subscription this year, and then they canned the Ghostbusters subscription because nobody signed up for it. So it was supposed to just be released as a regular Wait, figure. Time. So no one else wanted three or four more Peters and Rays. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and it's five dollars more expensive. <laughs> seems like you seem to me. I just cool. if that totally likeness awesome. if that likeness was better, I might buy one. But it doesn't look anything like her. So it's just it seems just like a random figure. I'll I'll get it so I can round out the line since I have all the other figures. Well, did they do uh, what's his face also on no, the no no on the pedestal? Ego? No, he's not the, the gate the keymaster. Yes, they did him, but he's not on a pedestal. Well, pff. he's just standing looking all crazy. They did do Vigo. He comes with this. The Triple H. He comes with this popcorn so he can yes have some. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. Yes, that's that. Uh, Disney Pixar Cars 2012 Comic Con Mater. They haven't actually shown this one yet, but they say it's a little oh, set. Wow, another Mater. And it's Mater in the uh, Japanese toilet awesome. from uh, Cars 2. <laughs> they say it has lights, it has music, it has parts that move. Everything that Doug loves. Uh, it's supposed to be great. <laughs> hey, I love a bidet as much as the next guy, um, but I don't know anybody buying this one. That's yeah, you. You'll no, buy one for at least for Philip. No, uh, yeah, he doesn't like cars anymore. Car cars cars two. Do you ever tell him he's changed? No, when Cars two came out, <laughs> you changed. Our whole family sat down, watched Cars two, and now my kids don't like cars anymore. Just, like why? that movie killed it for them. They just gave up it on it. It was that bad. It was no, that they bad. just got that old. They're just like, you know what? I forgot. I'm like, no, Libby will still play with the toys. Now. She'll still play with the little cars that we already have. But we go to the store and we're like, oh, you want a car? No. No, huh, weird. Ever since that movie came out, they just they'll watch the one. first one and they'll watch the Mater okay. cartoons. It's but all right. It's not terrible, but it's not. I good. just thought, yeah, I thought it, it was ain't such no a Cars weird... one for sure. Yeah, it's no Smurfs. It for show ain't no Smurfs. Smurfs. Wait a minute, I know what you did. I did. never saw Smurfs either. Still, so. yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, no. It's, it's awesome. Should have came, bro. Oh, yeah. Um, I, was, I was on the other sure. side of the theater that night. I know, watch some awesome. <laughs> watching yeah. the, watching the good movies. What'd you watch? Captain America and. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, oh, the that? drive-in? Awesome. awesome. Yeah, the drive-in. I wasn't talking to you, Christina. <laughs> well, we watched Smurfs. Hey. You guys watch Smurfs. It's pretty bad. Uh, let's see, the last one that they showed images of is yeah. the Polly Pocket DC Comics villain yeah, set. That, huh? uh, this is basically the Gotham Pocket City Sirens. <laughs> You've got Catwoman, <laughs> Poison Ivy, and <laughs> Harley <laughs> Quinn. Those are awesome. Um, but these are, actually, they, they're dressed as Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, but they're actually... Polly and her friends Lila and Leah yeah. dressed oh, up as the characters. Yeah. For the They're not really the characters. Polly's ponytail sticking out. So do they really have to pay DC licensing fee? <laughs> oh, show. Sure. I'm sure they own it. I like them. I bought. The, I like the. But they're not ones. articulated, right? There's no. no articulation. They're like mini statues. They're little, 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 yeah. Uh, they move blame. a little bit. Like blame. the heads. The heads turned. I think on the Shira ones, and I think the arms moved up. Oh, on the Shiras, yeah, yeah, their legs and everything. Moved. Harley Quinn is awesome. These don't. Yeah, these look like they're completely static. Well, she is. It she must like have some kind so of little stand your or toy something. mumbo jumbo talk around here. He means mini statues, guys. Oh, okay. You mean like mini statues, like twenty statues? <laughs> hey, hey, R two. He's not allowed. There you go. R two. <laughs> mini statues. That's he up. likes them. R two. Hey, R two. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Say again. Well, there you go. Oh, well, who was that? Can you play the message back? Hey, play it back. <laughs> play it back. There's, there's my Luke Skywalker. <laughs> he right. said that? Yeah. He said, no! No, no, no. no, no. no, no. no, no. no, no. 
station to pick oh, up some power converters. Mm. That was my Luke impression. They're pretty good. Nope. No, no, no. That was no, awful. Good. Said. Listen, no, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> R2, do you remember the 60s? Oh, yeah. It was just a big purple haze. Thinking. He said, ah! Oh, He's so my favorite. All right. And then finally, they have uh, listed four more. There are no images or prices yet, but they listed that oh, they no will images? be um, Masters of the Universe uh, Volkswagen Drag Bus. Because when you think of a Volkswagen bus, you think of Masters of the Universe. That's so weird. Uh, a Hot Wheels Scooby Doo The Mystery Machine. Um, Hot Wheels Kit. You got the Night Industries 2000. So, oh, so that's the new one. That's the, actually awesome. I was going to say, isn't those, don't they yeah. have those in stores yeah. right now? Yeah. The Kit Knight Rider? Yeah. Well, yeah. apparently there's going to be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive version. But yeah. no, no, it's going to be the new version, though. It's going to be from the new. The oh, new from the crappy show. show? I didn't mind it. Ugh. Hey, that chick was smoking hot. Smoking hot. I don't have no idea what her name is. Okay. Hot Chick. Hot, yeah, yeah, actually, yes. Chick. Her mother named her Hot Chick. H A W G. That's how you guarantee. That's how you guarantee they grow up to be hot. And if yeah. they're ugly, you like, like, like when you name them Chastity uh, or Hope <laughs> or Pam, they always grow up to, to fulfill those names, That's don't right. they? You ever yes. seen a, a hot chick named Pam? No. <laughs> They don't Pam Dauber and Mork know. and Mindy. She was smoking in that show. That wasn't a real name. Pam Dauber. Oh, that's a real name. Yeah, it was a real. You're name. so lame. You're thinking of jo Jonathan Winters, and that was a different dude. In that show. Jonathan Winters. A different dude. He was not hot. That's, that's, that that's totally what. Oh you're... yeah, yeah. Nana, nana. Sad spot. Masters of the Universe Volkswagen Drag uh, Passion Beetle. <laughs> if it's just the Passion Beetle, <laughs> and that's what they called it. It's a Volkswagen. It's a Beetle. You got it. Ugh. No, but that's not a beetle, it's a bus. It's a bus. And then finally, Monster High to be revealed. It's a mystery to us, too. Oh, my. Which means they haven't figured it out yet, is probably what that means. <laughs> but whatever it is, it's going to be super valuable. And expensive. Probably not too expensive, but it'll be triple It'll price be $65 the at second, the con. Yep, the second somebody puts it online, it'll be triple And it'll price. be 150 starting bid on eBay. Monster Buy it now, High. 300 and I'm gonna have six of them. Monster High, High is crazy hot, right? Oh, now. are you going this year? Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna you're undercut everybody. One forty-five. What? Yeah, you're gonna undercut? <laughs> hey, are we going or what? <laughs> undercut everybody? I think I think time has passed to. No, it's not. Sure. I called him. Oh, okay, cool. Of course you said, I'm, "Hey, I'm Scotty Cash." <laughs> it's like, oh god, here we go again. What do you need? <laughs> is there Listen, we've sent a cards on its way to pick you up. I was like, oh, okay, well, do I need to call you back in like ten minutes? No, no, seriously. Listen, everything's all paid expenses. We got it. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to go potty and uh, uh, drink some whiskey, and then we will come back to do the... Uh, what, what's the other thing we do? Fan corner. The fan corner. Uh, let's do a happy Scooby-Doo fan corner. Is that the one where you dance like sprockets? No. Uh, all right. We'll be right back. Where's the whiskey? Hey guys, it's Killin'. I'm here to discuss a new show coming every Monday on the Pop Culture Network. It is the Video Game Lizard Show. Every week we'll discuss the news relating to video games. We're going to talk about some releases. And have a short discussion on whatever random topic we think is relevant that week. It's going to start myself and, of course, I'm not, Dirk. So be sure to check us out on bglosers.com, part of the Pop Culture Network. Yay! First one, this post is from Sween Hollick and it says, Go! So well, thank you for that, Sween Hollick. Where? I don't understand the question. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> I just don't understand. Can you repeat the question? He speaks go! Oh, he says, oh, Go! It's the beginning of the Christian theme. When you close your eyes and light the truth, You're talking to the wrestler. I was a little confused there for a second. Well, I know Jesus went. <laughs> he went wherever he just wanted to. Why you uh, do that in that voice? Well, that yeah, what we're trying to say. We're trying to say, say uh, Juice no. other juice? That's his outside so, voice. Um, That's his outside voice. Cavalier Chris <laughs> says, Hi, Lord Killen and his backups. 
Oh, Talking about you two. We sing yep. in vocals? Whoa. <laughs> We're dancing in the background. After your last episode and Dirt's report about Sci-Fi Channel coming up with a toy hunter show, this got me wondering, with this seemingly becoming a trend with shows on Travel Channel and Kevin Smith's Friends featured on AMC, is this something you all might be interested in doing, say, for cable, if offered the chance? Wait a second. Say I've given a half hour time frame, I could see a show, whole it figures, VG losers, oh. a few reviews and discussions, and like all the stuff you did on that new toy smell, and of course a fan corner. I know you're all pretty busy with families, jobs, and Sween dressing like a turtle, but given a chance, <laughs> I bet this dog could hunt well. So hey, what do you dog, think? Our dog almost hunted for a while. Dude, our dog humps legs. And I think that's how the analogy goes for us. Are we, are we allowed to works? talk about that now? Yeah, we never have. Okay. Uh, we actually, well, Duvall and Danny were approached first about doing a show on sci-fi? No, oh, there was no there oh, no, was no, no, yes. or was, network. No, there it was, was, they, no, they were talking about Spike. They were saying it was maybe one Spike. of the guys that was the producer of uh, Dirty Jobs. Yeah. And he kept put, uh, he would call us and we'd all talk to him and he put us on hold for five minutes and he was like, uh, I, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> and then everybody was excited for months and months and months. And then they changed it and changed it and they pitched this idea and they wanted to do this and they wanted to do that to make a long story short. We're still sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> so we almost had a TV deal. That fell. But also, one of the things that we really found out is that reality TV is not very real. Anymore. Um, it, it, you know, the ideas that you had of, like, the early, like, um, uh, what was the one on MTV where everybody lived in the house? Real World? Real, real world. world. Where it's just, like, a bunch of cameras following you around and then they make a show out of it. That's not what reality TV is at all. And everything that you see is completely staged and sculpted and scripted. and Like that wrestling crap you guys you know, watch. And <laughs> any, anyone that you meet is someone that they... <laughs> The producers have put together and... Wait. I don't watch that crap. I was talking, so I didn't hear what you say, but am I going to have to throw an R2-D2 at you? Don't throw him! He has feelings! They're like, look, if you... If, if you they're like, look, if Dirt ain't taking off his mask, we're not doing a show. And Dirt's like, listen, I'll never take off my mask. I don't care what you say. And they're like, all right, show's over. He's like, hey, look, guys. Look who I am. <laughs> I remember. That's how it went down. That's yeah, that, that, was, that was exactly the pitch meeting, too. And so, uh, so it's because my, it's my fault. Yeah, those those shows. I don't know, man. He doesn't like Doritos, so that's a problem. There's a thousands I'm, and thousands if, and thousands here, of shows. If someone are... comes to me and says, "I'm going to write a check for you to do something that's not a nine to five job that does not include sex with dudes," then I'm probably in. I'll, Whoa, I'm probably in. Unless it's a lot of money, then you'll probably do sex it, with dudes. It, but yeah, depending on how big the check is, it might be sex with dudes. Well, they they wanted us. Yeah. They wanted <laughs> they wanted us to. Uh, they wanted well, they wanted Danny and Duvall to uh, check out people's collections. And then they they had other things for uh, uh, other us to do, and then they completely switched it up, and they wanted to make uh, Kiln Enterprise like Pawn Stars and only do toys, because <laughs> yep. there's all kinds of people around this area that just bring in toys all the time. But the I producers should find the people to bring. That's, the what, they said. that's what they yeah, said. Yeah, that's what the producers totally said. would we'll we'll just do. It. Stage all so right. so TV mm -hmm. is like I said. Someone wants to write me but, a check, I'll do it. Yeah, whatever. But but the show's not gonna be very good because Damien undercuts everybody. He's like, look, I like to get like hundred bucks for you. He's like, well, I'll give you twenty. <laughs> Or, that, thir that, or, or 35 store hey, credit. They do have a show. It's called uh, Hardcore Pond. That's the show where they. No, that the is family. so fake, dude. You, you ever seen him negotiate? Yeah. I want 500. 20. <laughs> fake. 500. 20. And they never ever lose money. That show is the. F that's faker than. Oh, I love that show. That's my favorite. Dirt's hair. Hardcore Pond. Faker than my Dirt's favorite. hair. Look at that. That's, 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 that's a mop, kid. Next question. Next question. Clone Yoshi says, Hey guys, what is your favorite version of Batman? Mine has to be the Burton Batman. Mm. Uh, Doc Kilmer. Is that an answer? What? George Clooney, dude. Mine's, Come the, on. mine's the Kenner toy. I like the most ridiculous Batman that shouldn't be a Batman. George Clooney? <laughs> That's what Danny said. Uh, I, like George I think mine's Batman no, the Animated no, Series. No, you I know. know. Huh? Batman the Animated Series. For sure. That's going to be... That's Kevin gonna be, Conroy? You can't best beat Batman. Is that, ever. Is that considered... Can, I definitely... I want that answer, too. I kind of like the current Batman where he talks and you don't understand him. He's <laughs> just as dead with a sign. Why you trying to kill me? Why you trying to kill me? Have you seen the new yeah, trailer did. for the new movie? And Bane talks. Yeah, and he talks and normal. Yeah, and he's not talking like this. But that scene though, where where Catwoman gets in the the vehicle with Batman, and she's like, "I said I never." My you. mom's a dirty yeah. thing. The car is just to me. yeah, and he totally just like, "Who's this not the car?" <laughs> lost it, dude. I was like, yes! He so, still talks ridiculous. It's the ice claw. <laughs> so when you get the DVD and the special features... The Dino Claw! <laughs> the special features are just sort of going, yeah, I got no idea what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. Take 16. Still nothing. 
I got nothing. I can't play off this guy. I don't even know what he's saying. I don't even know how to Can we get a translator for this guy? I'll watch it though. That's gonna be an IMAX 3D, isn't it? Yeah. I'm definitely going St. Louis. Yeah, I'll go I'm gonna see it. I'm just that's where I think the the hype for Avengers totally has me like not excited for Batman See, I'm as not, much as I should be. I'm not excited for Avengers as much as I probably should be. I'm uh, not I really am, Let me tell you this. Stoked I've already Avengers. seen Avengers. It's wonderful. You saw it? Wow, you saw it already. It was an amazing mm. maze balls. Yep. Yeah. It's alright. We seen it. We actually we have a bootleg of it. We actually were in it. <laughs> remember that green yeah. guy that ran around? Oh, I remember that part where I was like, actually... I played a stunt double. Yeah. Oh. Green, of the green guy? Yeah, the, really? it was a Hulk. Really? You guys heard of that guy? No. Hogan. Uh, Hogan? No, no, that's a different. <laughs> Hogan. I played his double in a different show. This is oh, actually, that was an adult movie. Oh, Hogan's a street. Fighter. This is Captain Thor here. Captain Thor. Yeah. Uh, Sir Captain Thor. <laughs> Captain Thor. Next man. question. So, wait. Uh oh, this one's for Kelly. So wait, if you're Hulk, then who am I? You weren't in the movie. Oh, not it. in the movie. You mo haven't even seen it. You're yet. Mojo. I'm you Mr. Not Mojo. Movie. Mojo. You're real smart, you know, kind of. You're the secret villain. Oh, can I be Modoc? Modoc. The big fat head yeah. in the chair. Yeah, Modoc. That's what I want to be. That's what we were thinking. He's actually. got a giant head and a little body. You're the. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> slapped the crap out of me. Hey, what's that over there? All right, this one's for Killing. Yeah. We all know that last year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusives... Oh, by the way, this is from Jobber. Thanks, Jobber. Anyway, uh, we all know that last year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusives weren't so exclusive. Are there any of this year's San Diego Comic-Con items that you will definitely be picking up, and which ones will you be avoiding? Uh, Hasbro's probably going to be safe for investment. Mattel, don't buy them. <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing from Mattel? <laughs> nothing from Mattel. Uh, maybe the Monst Hot Wheels stuff. Monster High. For some reason, that sells. Monster High. Maybe Monster High. Monster High. I think Monster sure High is, is hitting it. Like it's it's not, starting to plateau. Not yet, it's not. I think it is. I think you can't. Is. Those you go into the stores and try to find those things. The it's sections all are the always, same figure. It's all empty except for yeah. Like you can't find. I see those them all things. the time at Walmart. Well, you should buy them. Not the ones that people are paying I, billions of dollars for. I think for. It, this is the last billions. Year. Yeah, billions. I think it's down. I think it's down. I'm saying. Well, the San Diego exclusive is still gonna be San Diego exclusive, exclusive, so it'll still sell good. I mean, it's no Lego. Nothing's Lego. Lego. <laughs> all right, this is from Orco. Hey guys, your favorite annoyance here to shout out two comments and a question. Annoyance. That's what he says. That's uh, that's not nice. That's past Go tense ahead. for annoying. And that's what he said. Not I didn't call nice. him that. That's not what nice. he said. Annoyance is past tense for annoying. <laughs> I just made comment that. one in regards to the nerf situation. I agree that it's if the stuff was stolen, yes, it needed to be returned. Nerf. I could even let the detectives running around go if they hadn't been pestering neighbors, possibly ruining his reputation. There was no excuse the way Hasbro called, claiming they'd give him stuff and be a reviewer, only be told that, oh, we lied, we'll see you in court. Remember that nerf came to your house? Um, actually, a follow up. Okay, no. you remember the nerf what? story we talked yeah, about last yeah. week? Okay. It was last week, dude. A follow up. Actually, a follow up to that story. Um, he updated more information on his Urban Tagger site. Turned out he never actually bought anything. He went to the Chinese eBay site just to download the pictures yeah. and post on his blog he didn't actually buy any of the guns. Oh, so the people worse. came sniffing around his apartment were just to find out who his source yeah, was that, yeah, they to, to get the, the leaked info because they thought somehow he must be connected to whoever's stealing them from the warehouse. Inside job. But he, he didn't silly. actually buy anything. Oh, he didn't have any is in there. So that's even worse. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say that makes the situation even worse for Hasbro. Listen, where's it at? All I got is these pictures. Where? <laughs> I don't actually have any pictures. <laughs> Give us two of them. <coughs> Give me the pictures. Well, here's my computer. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, all right. For some Nerf guns, like hey, you listen, would never of think of all the Nerf brands. Yeah, you would never think the, that Nerf guns Japan. would be like like. Is that really that big of a deal? Yes. Part of Hasbro's military branch, and they're very serious. <laughs> listen, <laughs> the Hasbro military Japan, of Japan Nerf. Japan signed or what a treaty or whatever like back in. This is a true story. Whatever war they were in, I'm, I'm terrible. World War II. This is sure. A, this is a true story. No, this is honestly a true story. Where they're like, listen, we're gonna help you out, but you can't ever have like a military. You can have oh, like a right. defense team, and they're like, oh okay. So they just all have Nerf guns, so it's a very big deal over there. Hmm. They can't have real guns. They just all use like triple shot Nerf scopey thingy. Triple shot Nerf scopey thingy. thingy. The Assassin game is huge there. That's a, yes, <laughs> huge. Doesn't they nice. use water guns for that? Uh, not not Japan. You use the Nerf guns. That's they right. use water pictures. They use pictures of Nerf uh, guns. Every it's since huge. Hey, actually, they have. 
Fallout. You think we could just start a game of assassins with like a bunch of random people and just start running around? We're just put up flyers at high schools. <laughs> yeah. Assassins, it's a hundred dollars to buy in. <laughs> no one's ever gonna win. Don't ask about the money. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the game plays. <laughs> Listen, it's th it's like thirty forty dollars per team. Uh, give the money to. <laughs> Uh, or just set it in an envelope and put it on the table. We'll collect it later. And don't ever ask anybody about it. Yeah, anything. you never did. The ever... game starts in March, and then by July, everyone's just kind of forgotten about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And there's someone sitting there with a wallet full of cash. You never ever heard about And the winner is won. myself. <laughs> All right. It's probably the teacher's lounge. They said it's, on. <laughs> it's Cobra. Cobra. It was still fun, though. Question number one. With everything that's been happening lately, I think the fans would like to know more about what's going on with the PC and cast. Oh boy. With Dan stepping back, Stina, of course, following, and now I hear rumors that intern Rick plans on moving. Well, Is that it, on the grapevine? Was it worries the, uh, me. Along with the Pixel Dan website I stumbled points. onto a week ago, I guess the short question is asking, is the crew, are the friendships intact? If I ever see Dan again, I'll slap the... I, I'll yeah. tell you what. You know who I don't like? You oh, know who? Wow. Oh, wow. wow. You really? know, I'll tell you who I don't like. He made me do it. He, made, he just grabbed my hand and did it like... Who don't you like? Sure. Christina. Steve. Don't, don't. You guys just had a falling out? <laughs> yeah, we just had a falling out. Wow. Pool just boy's been over? I heard, I heard divorce was on That, the that stupid pool boy keeps oh, coming over. I guess it's Who was the pool boy? <gasps> See? Oh. It's not wearing the ring. She was doing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Outside in the pool. Dishes with, are with done, Rico. man. Wasn't, it, wasn't Rick the pool boy? That's, what, that's why he's moving away. He's, he's trying, trying to get out. He's trying to get away from She's her. like, what commitment now? She's going to be leaving Dan for me? She took I, off. I gotta go. I gotta move states or something. She took off her wedding ring and asked me for one. <laughs> Intern Rick is gone. As he, of May 1st, he's out. He, he I actually he moved to Indiana. 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 He had a job uh, offer a to go there. Yeah. True story. This is not that's, a joke. That's awesome. That's um, good now. And the the guy is it the guy makes like recreations of well, movie props or yeah, something? Yeah, something like something, that. Something but like that. but he, he gets paid on what he makes and how much he sells it for. They take like uh, okay. requests. Yeah, he commissions. takes commissions. He takes requests and he does the stuff. And the guy's gonna put up all the materials that that uh, intern Rick will need. Uh, so intern Rick packed up, moved his stuff there because he doesn't really have any ties here. He was going to school here, but he can go to school there. Uh, he sat behind his desk and. And watch TV on watch his, his on external his... hard drive. Yeah, he works really hard here. That's all <laughs> Number one, no, really, employee of the month, uh, 13 months in a row. And only worked there, 11 That's... of them. So, I mean, <laughs> yes, I mean, he moved, but that was life giving him an opportunity. Yeah, months. I mean, at least he got so, a cool opportunity. That's uh, awesome. Dan, it's, this is just selfish Danny, and uh, Pixel he just doesn't like us anymore. We determined that and, the Pixel Dan uh, is like The Rock. The Rock. <laughs> He's like, he's like, look, I'll get on my fame, and I'll go make movies. And, but, and, 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 three. and when I come back, oh, okay. I go over. <laughs> that's, that's, right. that's, that's, that's true. Everyone's <laughs> going to be like, oh, it's a Pixel Dan show again. Yeah, I'll go and over. then we're all just like, Man. I go over. And, no, and, and then, then, no, tomorrow you're going to need to do like something where it's I got to like, cut a promo tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I will be dirt. And then, like, and then, then I will be dirt. What he's, he's coming back to say that this is his show. Hey. It figures, but then he won't be back on it for wait, another six then, weeks. Wait, who's the Brock Lesnar then? Because he's got to come waltz on oh, yeah. tomorrow That's, too. No, that'd be Dave. Nah, 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 Dave Draper nah, nah. is going to come back. Oh, good. So that means I quit again. <laughs> and start elbowing who he's, he's going to start throwing windmills at <laughs> Scotty. Yeah. Great. And uh, oh, here we go. Great. Here it is. We should probably move move on now because now. All right. I didn't say any jokes about him. You don't need to. About Dave or Orko? We don't, we don't need Whoever. to. Uh, he's a good person. Who, Who Dave or Orko? <laughs> I actually seen uh, Dave at C2E2, oh, yeah. and if I would have ran into him again, I probably would have... Orko wasn't at C2E2. Shook his hand and been like... Because we even invited him, and he didn't make yeah, it. He right. couldn't make it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you mean Dave. Please don't windmill me. All right. <laughs> Comment two. I've recently started work on my own little design company. I call it D-Pad Designs. It's basically just artwork I make. Uh, they're on my own or by request. I think some of you have already seen some examples, but to be honest, if possible, I'd like a review from everyone, from Dirt, Scott, Killen, Rick, Pixel Dance, Dina, even Rob Bass, and... Suin Hallowick. Sorry, bro. Don't know how to spell. Uh, so, when? so coming soon will be Susan? selected one of a kind variant pieces from my upcoming wave of figurines, the Nintendo Champions Collection. I'd like to see everyone's thoughts on their own private review, if possible. If you can stand to do anything with them, please keep them as gifts for all the hard work you've done for toy collectors. Right. So he's he's, he's, about me. he does those pixelos. Yeah, yeah. Those little plastic like, those are round awesome. circles, and then yeah. you put them on the thing and you iron them, and they stick together and form oh, stuff. Those and he's yeah. Yeah. figures out of those. Yeah. Sonic? I got Sonic, yeah. and I've got a Mega Man. Those are he, awesome. Yeah, well, he's been making, if you look at his Facebook page, he's actually been making a lot What's of Facebook? Uh, sprites, <laughs> it's, it's like basically the sprite characters from the old uh, NES games. Yeah. So he's been making Mario, he's been making <laughs> Luigi, he's are been doing, eight, you know, all Are this. they eight? What are they, what is they, they look eight, 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 eight,
Uh, they're, they're really, awesome. really cool. I got one for Christmas. Um, so, uh, Me too. I don't know, fa Nintendo Champions. Who's your favorite Nintendo Champion? Link. Captain N. L Captain N. <laughs> Did he have a game? Link's no. not a champion. Link is a champion. Captain N's got that belt controller. <laughs> it's like a championship controller belt. Little Mac. I like Little, Little Mac. Little Mac is awesome. He's definitely not in the top, like, Yoshi. 10. No. What about Pit? Kid Icarus. Pit. No. Nah. No. Yeah. Probably, Me probably Mega Man. Samus. Kirby. Kirby. Mega Man. Ma it's it's got to be Mario. Let's not kill. Mega Man's not even a Nintendo. Character. The dude from my. Are we talking? only talking about Nintendo characters? Or are we talking about guys that had Nintendo games? Why is Mega Man not a Nintendo character? Because he's a Capcom character. Okay. You're racist. <laughs> That's racism. Just NES characters. So, okay. So Mega Man. Actually, really actually, uh, if we're doing NES <coughs> characters, it'd be Simon Belmont from Castlevania. Belmont would be a good one too. Why is gonna be the uh, the driver from an like, Excite bike? <laughs> you love that game. Actually, but, but, but without his motorcycle. No, no, put just the little motorcycle and yeah. you can pose him like this, or there's the wheelie version yeah. variant. That That's what I want. I want the Excite Bike guy. But I want him to play her two colors. That's when you yeah. overheat. Yeah. You know you played that game. <laughs> <laughs> how's that, how that in 3D? Next question. 3DS. It, it's life affirming? Yeah. Yeah. And that's the meaning of life. Terrible. Does it come out or does it go back? It goes in. back. Okay, next question. All right. Another question for Killen? The Burger General. Hey, guys, my question is for Killen. Have you noticed the Two-Face Chase Lego set? There's a Two-Face variant. Most figures I've seen has black eyes and a mouth on the left side. Mine, however, has a purple mouth and eyes. I was wondering if you could shed light on this. Is it a country thing, first, second wave thing, or maybe just a thug up? Let me know your thoughts. It's got to be a screw up because I don't know. Well, hold on. Does the face... Does is There there isn't a face on the back side, right? It, well, uh, no, there is... There is you spin the head and there's a different face on it. So check, turn your turn your two faces head around. Take off the hair, spin the head around, and put the hair back on and see if it's a, another face. Oh, cool! I didn't know they had a two-headed. Oh, yeah. so it's a different color combination. Yeah. The... So oh. Super Superman is going like this on one of them. On the other one, he's like, and then you just oh. spin their heads. Around. It's not on all of them, but most of them do have double-sided. Actually, uh, it's not a country thing. Listen, I'm like a, it's a rap I'm like thing. A, a, like... That's how the rap stars do it. And they flip their and it wouldn't around. be country difference Is because they that? they all use the same because uh, they're all, they're imported everywhere. So they all, use they the all same get the same source. everywhere, except for Denmark. Everywhere, oh, they except Denmark. They get them fresh, factory fresh. Um, so no, I don't think that's the thing. You must, and you know what? The quality control is so high. I don't even know how you got a different head. I don't know. Unless it turns around to the other face. That would be hard to uh, claim. Uh, you might. But when you say you don't believe my guy, I'm gonna say. Hard to claim. I don't think anybody's gonna believe that. What one. is that? All right, we'll get to that in a second. All right, everybody done? Yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. Can we, we move on now? No. Well, I Are you ready? That about Christina, what do you think about? Well, okay. <laughs> NES. Go. No, we're Mario. not even on that question anymore. Go Mario. Like, like, <laughs> Mario. I like mayonnaise sandwiches on white bread. I'm hey, sorry, Mario. I oh, you put some bacon Mario. on that, and that's awesome. Well, yeah, that's a bacon <laughs> sandwich. She's just eating mayonnaise, and it ain't even mayonnaise. It's just miracle mayo man. on uh, white. Delish. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, Kirby. He likes fine. No, whatever. Mario. Man, whatever. Is... All right, this is from Nasty Will. Hey, Pete, yeah. why so much hate That's on the 15-ship Voltron? I always liked that toy. I still have mine in the box. Yeah, you love it so much you didn't even play with it. Uh, <laughs> it was always cooler to son. me when I was a kid because you got more play out of it, and. Dirt, you are cool, but the Bayformers Prime was not the first long nose Prime. They had a laser Prime from the G2 line, and it almost looks like the Prime from the movie. Oh my. That doesn't count either you because got it's stupid. You got served. That doesn't uh, count either. No, and the problem is uh, Michael Bay put it in a movie, so that makes people think it's real, but those you movies are served. even less real than the original. This was person. like a dance off, and you lost, but there's no dancing involved. You're, yes. you're off the show. You got nasty. <laughs> you're off the show. Wow. Nasty. Hey, now Orko's going to be like, Scotty, really off the show? Scotty Cash has been future endeavored. Orko moved oh, down here. You got his future endeavored like hey, the Bella Twins. This is the second twins. time in two days I've been laid off from a job. Scotty's like the Bella Twins. Do you think that's legit? Or do you think that's just a Yeah. Right? I, think I think it's, it's legit. The contract was up, right? You don't watch. And then E fired him on WWE.com. Because, because WWE isn't making enough money in this economy, is what she said. <laughs> What's the Bella Twins? Who are they? <laughs> The Bellas? They were divas. The twins on oh, wrestling? They were just on there last night, weren't they? Yeah, yeah last, last night was their last night. Yeah, that was their last night. They got fired. Night. It was like me. All right. There's, just... not, a, there's not a market for part-timers. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Actually, I have. Especially in this, in this time. I know. 
Uh, Justice Fam 123 says, Hey guys, I appreciate all your work. Love your website. My question involves Mattel's Justice League Unlimited action figure line. Now that it's just about over, what are your personal feelings about the line as a whole? Are you excited about the remaining six new three packs coming to ManityCollector.com this fall slash winter? No. Thank you. And P.S. <laughs> I think Justice League Unlimited is probably the best line of figures ever produced. Oh! Wow. That is a statement. That is a statement. Wow. And wrong. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's insane. Um, no, I, I Justice liked... Justice Limited, they don't have any articulation. They have yeah, articulation. I, I liked the, the look of the figures because I liked the look of the show and seeing them that they were, you know, accurate to the, the animation design was nice, but why they couldn't pop a couple cogs in the elbows and knees, you know, just so you could do something with them. Yeah. That, to me, was my biggest problem because you'd go, wow, these are cool, and then you take them home, rip them out of the package, and then nothing to do. They can go, they can go, woo! And that's about all they can do. Touchdown. Touchdown. And, and like... And it's good! You know, there was heavy reuse of parts in that line because they pretty much all had the same body. They all had the same body. Repainted. Yeah. And then the prices just kept going higher and higher and higher Hey, look, they're six bucks. Yeah. Hey, they're eight bucks. Hey, yeah. they're twelve bucks. What? Yeah. Yeah, so... Did you ever go to Meyer and get those? those no. Ones? No, I so not not sure. a line for me, but I understand that there's a huge fan following for him. So oh no, uh, JLU figures and all those figures, they eat those up. Yeah, I know. go on there's eBay. A huge, I mean, they, JLU like I said, lot. They're, they're great wow. because they are so accurate to the way they look in the cartoon. Yeah, and that's what makes them so awesome. But they're just they need to be in like a collector's box and not no, even so open them just so you put them on the shelf and never touch them because there's right. nothing yes. you can do with them anyway. There's so. a ghost, obviously. Although I have to say that the. Uh, the uh, Batman that came with the Wonder Pig is probably the greatest packing of all time. Oh, the Wonder, Wonder Woman Wonder has a pig. Yeah, I remember. So it was a little pig with like the Wonder Woman bracelets on. I also like. I also like the one that came with the little city of Candor. Oh, uh, the little bottle. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was cool too. Those were pretty cool too. So they, they had some neat stuff, but all right, Ry Orton. Hey guys, can you please give me some tips for someone who is attending San Diego Comic Con for the first time? It's a standard affair for guests to charge for autographs and pictures at conventions. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I attended C2E2 and almost all the guests were charging for an autograph. Thanks. Lord Killen rules. I knew that was Doug's car. <laughs> okay, for, obviously that's from Lord Killen. So Lord Killen changed his name to Ray Orton. Right. Uh, yeah, as, as far as autographs, anyone who's like famous is going to charge you. Um, if they're at like a company booth, like, you know, Marvel, DC, they will have people there doing autographs. You just have to get in a super long line. If they're in a place like Artist Alley, you can just walk up to them, talk to them, and say, hey, what's going on? And they'll sign an autograph. But as far as, like, when Adam West is there or Patrick Stewart or somebody like that. Patrick Swayze. They're sitting at a table. Yeah, he'll oh, be there too this year. Too soon. Uh, that was like a year ago. Sometimes it depends. Like, like there are some places. Yeah, that's there are some true. places that will charge you soon, to get in line for the autograph, and then they charge you per autograph, and they will charge you if you bring your own item to have autographed. Then they charge you to leave the tent after you sign the autograph. <laughs> and, oh, you want out of oh, here? That's like five dollars. Two bucks. And, and you got to talk to and, Virgil. And San Diego is <laughs> don't, don't hate my guy. Dude. San Diego is higher than C2E2. It's like forty dollars just to have for Virgil uh, Xander from Buffy sign a photograph. Oh, is he talking about just autographs, or are you just talking about in general? For for the for the guests. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the people that are like now appearing. Yeah. Any any of the uh, creators, like comic book people, that's probably all free. Anybody who's on TV or on a movie, you're paying for that. Because those people are getting paid to be there. The comic book people who are there are there to sell their stuff, and they're more than happy to sign the stuff because hey. more people will buy them. Um, but you're not selling copies of. Buffy season eight by having Xander there, so they instead pay him to be there signing autographs and answering questions. I'm about to give you give you some legit inside information. Here we go. This is from the inside. Okay. Legit. The autograph alley or whatever you want to call it. Artist alley. No autograph alley where the whole section of like the autograph nobody people. Nobody calls it that. Well, whatever you, you want. There is you. there is a section though that's just nothing but okay. autographs. Okay. There, um, you actually pay to go there. They don't pay you. Um, there's also for San Diego. <laughs> what? That, that's true. It's not about the people. Uh, For San Diego, to have a, any kind of um, uh, any kind of booth, there's a three-year wait. Yeesh. Both true stories. True no, story. but they do book guests. They do and, pay and, for guests to come to the convention to sign autographs and sit on panels. And, and unless they're going to be like featured there, most of those people... Like that, William like, Shatner. Okay, well, he's a huge name. Well, like Kevin Nash, right. Virgil... Well, LOD. Virgil buys his own demolition. Booth. That's a little different. Those guys pay to go there. That's a little different. Oh, cool. and, and the person that's in charge of that? Is Dan? She's part-time. Uh, there's no market for her. <laughs> She's going to get laid off, man. No, whoa, I'm, whoa, I'm whoa. serious. I'm whoa. dead serious. She's part-time, and she she doesn't have a cell phone number or a phone number. 
Emails only. Who is making Virgil pay for his booth? I don't know. I wouldn't. Travesty, man. That's a travesty. Did you see the million dollar He belt is a wrestling with? superstar. You know, no, no. You know what it is? It's because he knows Ted DiBiase, and they're like, well, this guy can pay. <laughs> so we, Everyone's got a we're prize. We're going to charge for Virgil because <laughs> he can get the money. <laughs> All right. Final question. This is from Sun Adam 9 Hey, guys. This week I have two questions. First, do you think now that we are getting new episodes of Thundercats, we will see some new toys from Bandai? Nope. Done. None? No. At all? Uh-uh. It's not happening, Ever? guys. Ever? Sorry. It's done. Talk Ever? to my source and she uh, didn't have nothing to say about it. Yeah, look. Well, I kind of figured when I got my playset and my Thunder Tank for 12 bucks look, off of Amazon. Amazon. Everybody is starting to... This is the problem with Thundercats right now. And I, we're still waiting to even hear if we're getting another season after this. I know that they said initially that Cartoon Network ordered 52 episodes or whatever, but then they announced all the new stuff that was coming back next season, and Thundercats is not on the list. And they haven't made an official statement yet, but the word going around with Warner Brothers and everything is that that cartoon was completely dependent on the sales of the action figure line. Oops. And that action figure line has completely stopped dead in the water. Uh, all the stores are clearancing it out. Toys R Us has completely stripped it away from their warehouse. You, they, they don't even have it in the warehouse anymore. You can't even order them anymore. Um, Walmart started clearancing them out. They've moved them to smaller sections. Uh, Toys R Us has already... Making, they're already putting up signage for Ninja Turtles where Thundercats is. Ooh. So it's. It's not even until like August. I know. <laughs> I know. That's and like a dollar an hour. <laughs> oh, snap. So, so Thundercats is is very, very much on the on the out going out right now. It's it's leaving. So it sucks, but nah, I'm, ban- I'm, I'm okay with that. Bandai Bandai it's killed so it, dude. Though. Bandai, no. I love the cartoon. The cartoon's yeah. absolutely amazing. Bandai, yeah, Bandai, cool. Bandai yeah, toys. Bandai squashed that toy line, man. They killed it they, to line with the San Diego exclusive right out of the gate. They're like, look at this. <laughs> it's <laughs> right it's Muddy Lino. Yeah. Muddy Lino <laughs> variant. Oh, and then we're going to change the size of them. $40. And then we're going to change the size again. And when Ninja Turtles uh-huh. on the horizon, who cares? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Dang. Right. Question two. Second question. Is there a figure stand I can use for my four-inch Chitara figure? My Chitara figure keeps falling over on my shelf. I can't keep her standing up no matter what I do. Do they have... Stop feeding her brandy. Do they have figure stands? Yes, it gets her all hot and turned on, <laughs> but then she can't stand. You enjoy it for a few minutes, but then the chick's falling over, getting a black eye, and telling everybody she walked into a doorknob. Jeepers, I'm Stop drunk. getting her drunk. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Get off his lawn. Get off his <laughs> Get lawn. Get off my lawn. I can't remember, do the four-inch ones have the peg holes on their feet? Use poster putty. If they do, just I just get, use poster putty. That that works. Or, get get the gray kind. That's what you yeah. just smash it down, that's smash your feet into it. You take a toothpick uses. and you just draw like cracks on it so it looks like rocks. So go. then it looks like she's just standing the, there. The putty is the best your best bet. That's what I would do too. And it's free. You just steal it from the store. Oh, <laughs> if you can steal it, yeah. it's free to steal. <laughs> that's, that's, I've I never thought of it that way, but that does make a lot you of sense. You know what? I think that applies to a lot of things. You know, maybe the, I should. And the putty company's going to show up at my house like, hey, how you know about that? You steal that stuff. It's free. How much putty you got? Hey, we're just talking to your neighbor. He seems to think you have a lot of posters in your house. What's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> give me that poster. Hey, give me that poster. Oh, all right. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to check out more episodes of the show, you can do it at itfigurespodcast.com. You can also come by the Pop Culture Network and join the forums. You can also send us a voicemail message if you want to by calling area code 217-953-4025. You can also send us various emails, Pixeldan at whatever, Stina, whatever, Sky Cash Pop Culture Network. Killing this guy. <laughs> yeah, send it to pixeldan at whatever.com. Right. I'm curious to when see you if get that works. All right, now ask him a question. R2. Did they have another Death Star? <laughs> they had another. He's two. They had another Ch- Death Ch- Star. He said two. Ch- R two. R two. Serious question. If I email Pixel Dan at Pixel Dan whatever, will he get it? No, 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 no. That was the hologram. He's telling you if you send it by hologram, he'll get it. Oh, no, he said no. You're wrong, dude. Okay, where should we email him? Where? Dance. Yell. Have a funky party. Oh! It's a disco <laughs> yeah. dance. Disco dance. Amazing. It's flashing, flashing. All right, I gotta go. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. I gotta poop. <laughs> you gotta poop. I gotta poop. <laughs>